Yeah, guys, I'm just making a quick video. Quick, <laughs> quick video about Neo stock. Uh, update video. <clears throat> to say two points, really, two points. You know, nervous investors, nervous traders. It's their fault, really. It's their fault. They're the ones that sell, drop the price. Well, you know, clever investors, clever traders, they're buying more. They buy the dips. And I read it in the comments on these platforms, these trading platforms. You know, they think I waffle, but the thing is, they don't listen to what I say. When I called it right. I think they know I called it right, but they don't want to admit it. They just leave <coughs> meaningless comments on these trading platforms. They're just all fear, really. It's all, <coughs> excuse me, it's all nervousness, you know, fear. That's probably, they, they, they probably look, they probably sold. This is what it is, right? They probably sold. And then when they, when they learn that, you know, people like me are loading up, are basically profiting from them. That's what they don't like. But it's not me. I, I'm the one who didn't. I'm the one who. I, I'm. I didn't say that the stock was gonna. I said it might, you know, fall below um, five dollars, uh, but only temporarily. That's the first thing I said. It would shoot back up like it is right now, as you can see in the um, post or pre-market for the seventh. You know, this is basically after the six. You see it's moving up. Neo stock going up. Look, reach 5.10. So it's only 10 cents above $5. But don't forget. Don't forget, guys, that it went to, <clears throat> you know, it fell to 4, 4.83 on the election. So it's really gained, basically gained 30, 30 cents. Just under 30 cents with this peak here. And anyway, it gained more than that earlier on. As you can see, it went up to 520. So really it gained 40, 40 pence and it's come, sorry, 40 cents. And it's come down a bit since then. And that's the first point I want to I want to say, really, like about these comments when you read on these platforms, you know, they don't like it that I've called it right. They don't want to admit it, but they listen. They listen to the video, listen to what I say, but then, you know, because they're nervous, they don't like it, you know, when the stock's volatile, when it's moving, you know, when it's moving down, they get nervous and they, in fact, like, you know, if they would have listened to me in the first place, I said, I said that it would fall under, Probably because of the election, I said it would probably fall under the um, five dollars, <clears throat> like a dip, and then spike back up. But they don't believe it. But um, I called it right about what seven, eight times now. The neo stock. So if they would have actually believed it, I mean, based on the you know my previous results then they shouldn't have got worried. But you see these people and they've got no experience. They, they're panickers, you know. They panic, they fear, they panic. So even when you speak sense to them, even when you basically, you know, demonstrate your superhuman powers, they're still blinded. They're, they're, they're like, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an, an analogy. But, uh, I don't know. So it's like a blind person trying to like understand a magic, you know, a magician. Blind person can't see what's going on, so there's no reaction. That's what it is with these people, guys, on these trading platforms. They're like, you know, all they're doing is listening to their fear, listening to their fears, you know. Anyway, that's point number one. Point number two. Just briefly, right, is that 
I was watching a, a channel, like a video of a channel, you know, you know, Mr. Um, what's his name? Rhymes with Wick, Mr. Wick. You know, it begins with P, but Mr. Wick, Mr. Um, like a prickly pear. But anyway, and the guy was saying, hey, this guy's got like a 20, I think it's 20, 26,000 subscribers or something. All these videos about Neo, like, it's, it's, the guy was, this guy's insane. The guy's deluded. He was saying, right, that he's an investor, number one, in Neo. I don't know. I don't, he hasn't shown any evidence of that. But anyway, he says he's an investor, right? And then he was saying he was showing a chart with a breakout just because it dipped below five. And he was saying that it's going to probably head down. For goodness sake i mean you know you're like guys you just got like, please you know like how many times i called it right on this stock when it was under four dollars right you know that i called it right and and you're gonna go and listen to him saying it's on a bear trend now because of this because it fell below i mean come on guys this guy's a lunatic this Mr. Uh, Wick, you know, saying that, you know, be just because of that. Look, he's a reactionist. The guy is a reactionist. He's like one of them people in the, on the trading platform, you know, comments of, uh, that I've just spoken about. And that's the link, that's the connection. He's a reactionist. He's not a predictor. He can't predict. He can't read a chart. All he's doing is looking at some news about Neo. And then trying to, oh God, he's got, he's clueless, like, you know. I mean, if he was just sitting in the same room as me and I was saying to him, look, I don't, I don't feel well today. Can you tell me what, you know, what do you think about this stock? Is it going to go up, down, this, that, blah, blah, blah. And if I just listen to him, I think the guy's crackers, like, he's not, <laughs> he can't call it. What he's saying is, he said it's going to go down. He says it's in a bear trend now. It's going to go back to $4 or $3. That's what he said, more or less. That's the first, you know, that's the second point. That's what he said. And then he's talking about another thing, yeah, what I'm going to say about him, yeah, Mr. Wick, yeah. He said, right, I told you he said he's an investor, but at the same time he said, he, he, he said, right, that, oh, Trump's got in, he probably didn't like Trump, yeah. He's not um he's not a Trump fan. Oh Trump got in and um he's gonna put tariffs on the look guys I've I've already covered this. Look guys, I've already covered it my previous videos, it's all BS, it's all fear mongering. Alright, he did say I'll give it give him this he did say that oh they say that you know Trump says this and that about you know trade war or whatever but you go and talk to them sort it all out blah, blah, blah. all right he did say that but the thing is guys that it's all bs because them tariffs they're going to be lifted it's all part of the plan you know the bigger plan the bigger picture is they just want a good deal from china that's it and then china can import as much as they want because it's costing the US you know manufacturing it's costing them too much money it costs Tesla for instance it costs them too much money to build Teslas their profit margin is low why do you think they went into China why would they bother going all like, right they're going into other countries as well but why would they even bother going to China because look guys at the end of the day China you know cars from China they're going to flood the market I mean, they've been flooding the market for years from the east into the west for the last 40 years plus, you know, Toyota, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not a new thing, right? It's just that it's all political. I talked about this in one of my other videos and that's what happened yesterday now on the 6th or today if you're in the US whatever but 
That's what happened with the election. That's why they, the price fell below five because of the scaremongering. Exact same thing happened with that other stock on my channel. If you go and research it, evoke, E-V-O-K dot L dot London, evoke, right? They were talking about, you know, taxes, they're going to put taxes. There was an article in it and the stock crashed and I loaded up and there was a video on it. I told you what was going to happen before and I, t I showed you what happened after. And then it sort of rocketed, went to the moon, not went to the moon, moon, but you know, it went up a lot. And it was all based on fear. And it turns out there was no taxes at all. Anyway, guys, this is just an update because I listened to some some of these channels and um, think to myself, my God, you know, 26,000 subscribers, all about Neo, and he's absolutely clueless about uh, price action, he's saying he's an investor, and he's telling you the stock's going to go down to $4, $3. And then saying that, you know, more or less, so in fear. Just unreal. Unreal, guys.